In this video, we're going to go over a relatively new feature to 3D Coat 4.5, and that is the Vox Ray tool that resides here in the Sculpt workspace, and it's exclusive to voxel mode, or at least the layer that you initially select it from needs to be in voxel mode. So here in the tool panel, if you go to the object section, you'll see Vox Ray toward the top and you'll probably see something like this where it's sliced a part of your model. You can turn that slice off temporarily if you like. You can also hide the gizmo temporarily while you inspect your model. This is similar to a slice modifier or slice tool that you may be accustomed to in your standard 3D application but where it's handy in 3D Coat is it allows you to inspect the internals of your model while prepping it for 3D printing. So, for example, you may want to inspect it for any pockets or holes or bubbles or anything that might cause issues during the printing process. You also may want to inspect the thickness of your walls to see if it's sufficient because, as you probably already know, it's more economical to print a shell than it is a solid object because it's using less material. So, let's go ahead and create a shell here. I'm going to right click on this layer and choose extract shell. I could create a shell using surface mode but in this case let's use voxels. You can try the recommended amount here if you want. Let's try that. After it's calculated you may not see anything initially but once you start moving your gizmo now all of a sudden you can see the shell. And this allows you to identify problem areas. Maybe you don't have enough thickness in certain parts, so you may have to undo and create a thicker shell. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. I'll undo. So we'll make sure it's all solid here. So right click and choose extract shell. This time let's try point two. Okay. Okay, once I move my gizmo, see the result. So I'm going to move my gizmo, and if I change the axis here in the tool options panel, the slice orientation will change accordingly. Okay, and let's go back to Z and X. You'll notice if you have other layers that are in surface mode, it will still slice through those as well, and you'll see that it's indeed a single-sided surface. So there's no true volume there, no shell of any kind. All right, let's go back down. And one other thing you may notice is when you rotate to look at the model from a different vantage point, you may notice that it shows you a preview from the opposite side. So now it's slicing from the negative Y axis. Okay, if I look down from the positive Y, it's slicing from this direction. We'll do the same thing, Y and Z. So that's very cool. Right. And again, yeah, you can just use this gizmo to drag through and inspect the result. The delete flying noise limit just helps remove any flying chaff because in voxel mode, oftentimes that's what you have a little bit of leftover every once in a while. And you can use this to kind of remove it. You can turn on colored slice. The transparent slice is really going to show you something like a CT scan in the medical field viewing the individual snapshots or slices. Okay, and I'll turn that back off. You may see the threshold option as well as click to highlight and clone 
removed from this tool set or from the tool options panel because these options are practically exclusive to the medical and dental professions only and thus you may see them present in a medical version of 3D Coats in the near future but for now it's not very practical for media and entertainment so I just wanted to make sure to mention that. And on that note we'll conclude this tutorial on the Voxray tool in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching we'll see you next time.